are watching PNS News. Today's headline Columbia Court moves to Metaverse host first hearing. Polygon Scan faces 90 minute glitch fails to update Polygon Blocks. Lawmakers to resubmit Russia's crypto mining bill. FTX Japan allows total withdrawal of funds. G20 members considering complete ban on crypto, says RBI government. Voyager transfer $86 million to Coinbase over two weeks. Litecoin Foundations and Middle for partnership to aid LTC miners. IMF released a board paper with framework for crypto assets. French police arrest two people in connections to Platypus attack. Crypto miners hive blockchain posted net loss of $90.4 million for Q3 2022. Coin EX top providing services to US customers due to strict legal regulation. Uniswap allowing their users to buy NFT with ERC20 token. A Colombian court this month hosted its first legal trial in the Metaverse and now hopes to experiment again with virtual reality authorities told reuters. Network Explorer Polygon Scan reportedly stopped updating with correct values confusing investors on the health of the Polygon blockchain. This triggered rumors that the Polygon's layer 2 scaling phase outages after data ceased to generate on Polygon Scan for roughly 1.5 hours. The draft law legalizing crypto the draft law legalizing cryptocurrency XT the draft law legalizing cryptocurrency mining will be resubmitted to Russian parliament, which will be postponed its adoption. One of its sponsors announced members of the lower house are also working on a separate bill that will introduce liability for those who mint digital coins illegally. On November 7, 2022, crypto exchange FTX and its subsidiary halted all funds withdrawal after SBF was accused of misappropriating users' funds. The domino effect forced Liquid Group, a Japanese crypto trading platform bought by FTX since February 2022, to halt withdrawals on November 15, 2022. Crypto regulations, the Governor of Reserve Bank of India, Shakti Kantadar, says some members of the G20 are calling for considering a complete ban on the cryptocurrencies ahead of the G20 summit. Indian Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman said that India's position on the crypto assets have been recognized by G20 members. Voyager Digital has made several multi-million dollars transactions over the past couple of weeks. The bank or a crypto lender has transferred more than $86 million worth of crypto assets to United States based crypto exchange Coinbase since February 14. Litecoin Foundations and Metalfa Technology Holdings Limited come together seeking mutual collaborations for Litecoin mining solutions. According to a recent press release, the executive board of the International Monetary Fund discussed a broad paper on the February 8, 2023, the board paper on the elements of the effective policies for crypto assets provides guidance to IMF member countries on major elements of an appropriate policy response to crypto assets. 